Maybe we start off and just say, Ben, what is the current state of the union on large language models, ChatGPT, and maybe then morph into a little bit about how Zarka is going to be different. And then I know we're going to cover a bunch of other topics, but where we are right now in narrow AI, large language models, et cetera. Yeah, I, I think the crux of where we are right now with large language models and you know large neural models in general is about the same as as when we talked last. I mean, our last interview was post GPT four, right? And I, I think that while many things have advanced, like we we don't have a system generally smarter than than GPT four yet, right? So what 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 has happened is more and more systems comparable to GPT-4 in various ways are, are popping up all over. So it's more and more clear that OpenAI's early lead in this domain is not such a big long-term thing, right? So, I mean, G Google Google has the successor to Bard by now, so that, that, that Google, Google has Palm 2, which is a, a GPT-4 grade model, and, and they're, they're already they're already integrating uh, integrating large language models into search. And that's looking like a major disruption to the publishing industry for Google to do that, right? Because if if they can summarize what's on everyone's website in, in a reasonably cogent way, they're keeping you on Google's site with a with a with a summary of all the news, you don't need to go to the other the other websites and, uh, anymore, right? So it's really, I wouldn't say quite a death blow, but a major blow to many uh, business models on on the on the publishing side, and a very clear revenue model for Google associated with with, with LLMs, right? I'd say probably clearer than what than what Open OpenAI has at that at, 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 at this point. So I'd say Google was caught sort of uh, off guards and taken aback. I, I would say they've pretty much recovered. On, on the other hand, you also had this uh, leaked memo from an engineer within Google to the to the effect, well, we have no moat like open source projects can do the same stuff that, that, that we're doing. And in some ways they can go faster because they have all sorts of people collaborating and, and, and innovating. And this Google engineer who wrote this memo that was re re released titled, we have no moat, right? He was pointing out not just that open AI's early lead is meaningless, but that Google's lead also is, is brittle in, in in the sense that if if Google tries to close source their technology, then it will no longer be be cutting edge, and open source tech will will get smarter and smarter, which ultimately could pose a threat to Google's hegemony on on search, even right? Because I mean, if Google Google is putting one language model behind search, that, that that's great. It probably can stop the flow of people to Bing, right? On the on, on the other hand, if an open source language model was just smarter, then some VCs are going to fund a search engine based on that, which will start eating eating away at, at, at Google, right? So I'd say the tech hasn't advanced a lot since we last talked. But the business aspect has developed significantly where we're seeing open AI doesn't have a unique power here and big tech companies are probably going to have to keep opening stuff up and, and play nicely with the open source world in order not to be left behind. Because j just as we've seen with other forms of AI technology and with operating systems and other parts of computer tech, even these trillion dollar companies can't keep up with the open source world, which is just a far, far larger community coll collaborating on, on, on stuff. So, so Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. 
go to LondonReel.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReel.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi, got to do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener, coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. We took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.